So what is the kind of content we release every week? The primary content is videos by faculty members. So there will be about two and a half to three hours of video that every week we are releasing in each of the four courses. And then we have something called activity questions. So these activity questions are generated and created for every single video. So there will be a video, there will be a set of activity questions. There will be a video, there will be a set of activity questions. And this kind of enables to test you on whether you have understood what has been taught in the video by answering that set of questions. So basically you watch a video and then you answer the questions, see whether you have understood whatever has been put out there, otherwise go back and revise your video. We also have something called practice assignments. So as the name suggests, this is for your practice. So these assignments will also have questions based on content of that week. But along with the questions, we will also show you the answer key and we will show you the detailed solution. This, this is more for your self-learning where you actually sit down, you maybe work out the questions in the practice assignment. If you get stuck somewhere, you can go and refer to the video solution or the PDF which we have put out, which has all the details on how to solve it and see whether your answer matches the answer given there. So this practice assignment will enable you to kind of solve the graded assignment. So the graded assignment is what is important for eligibility for the qualifier exam. So by doing the practice assignment, you can ensure that you can do well in your graded assignment. So what we call as a graded assignment is normally it will have about 10 days of uh, deadline. So on a Friday typically we will release the content along with the graded assignment. And the Wednesday in the week after, the second week, not the first week, that will be the deadline for submitting the assignment. So in this 10 day period, you can submit the assignment any number of times you want. It is not like only once you can submit, you can submit it any number of times. The last submission you make, that is what we will take as your final score. And one thing to ensure that you have submitted uh, your answers on the portal and the portal has received your answers. At the top of the assignment, you will have something called last submission date and time. So this will capture the date and the time at which your last submission was made. Whenever you press the submit button on the graded assignment, just go back and see whether this date and time is updated. If our server has received your answers, it will show the immediate time when you last submitted it. If for whatever reason, this assignment date and time is not updated with your latest submission, click the submit button again and ensure that it goes through because sometimes because of internet issues, you might be sending the answers but we might not be receiving it on our server. So the sure shot way to ensure that your answers are on our portal is by checking this date and time on the assignment, okay. So this is a graded assignment, you have to be very clear that you have to submit the graded assignment for every week for the four weeks, for the four courses, okay. You cannot say two courses I will do and later on two. For the qualifier month alone, all four courses, you have to submit the graded assignment for every week. Then there are tutorial videos which are help videos that have been created that explain the concepts further, maybe have some FAQ kind of things based on the content that is there. They also help you to learn the concepts better. There are also text transcripts available which is the entire transcript of the video. So maybe you watch the video once or twice and you want to then go through what is the text or for a quick reference you can use this. And some reference books are given there. Though we would say that normally for this four weeks of content, if you refer to the videos, the notes, the graded assignment, it should be more than enough for you to handle the qualifier exam. Also before the qualifier exam, maybe 3-4 days before the qualifier exam date of July 7th, we will also give you a mock exam where you will have a practice of how it is actually going to be there on the day of the exam. And like I already described, the discussion forum and the live sessions are there for you to go in and ask your doubts and queries about the content of that week.